Got a 2012 Max Force DT engine. Uh, no power to the engine. Had code SPN 3556 AFT. Excessively high fuel pressure. What you're gonna wanna do is in the exhaust brake, and the exhaust is right here, mounted to the EGR cooler. You wanna take off this after treatment fuel injector. These are two coolant lines. Make something to catch all the coolant that comes out. You wanna loosen them. Loosen the fuel line that goes into the top of it up here. And then there'll be two 10 millimeters. I already took them out. What you wanna do is just lift it. And slide it out of there. There's a little metal gasket in there. You wanna make sure that you don't lose I already cleaned this one off. It was all clogged up with carbon. You want to clean all that off. Be careful not to damage the tip. You can probably reuse the metal gasket. I'm going to get a new one, but it looked okay. Then, what's giving you that code is right down in here. All clogged up all soot. I'm going to take a pick. And just break it all away. If you really want to be thorough, you can take out the exhaust brake and clean it out that way that way you won't get any of these chunks falling down but they'll eventually burn up they shouldn't hurt the DPF all right got it all cleaned up I just use a pick bust through it stuff's pretty hard so it's gonna take about 20 minutes uh, use an angle grinder to clean the mating surface. I wouldn't advise using any chemicals. You don't want that stuff getting down into the DPF and the DOC. So just do it by hand, take the time. All right, gonna install the doser back in there, the after treatment fuel injector. Put the gasket on there, put the two 10 millimeter bolts through it. take it fish it back in there from the back end bring it up you really want to try to line these two coolant hoses up because they're a pain in the ass if you tighten down the doser first so just get it in there this is kind of hard with one hand and then just start one of your bolts these up. So, just want to start these two. Don't tighten them down yet. Make sure your gasket's still in place back there. And then you want to move over here and you want to start these. Pain in the ass sometimes. Once you get them started, you tighten these two 10 millimeters up here down. Put your fuel line back on. And then tighten these two down, fill her back up with coolant. Once you get everything tight, put back in. Oh yeah, you want to check the coolant lines that go into the back of the fuel injector. Make sure that none of them came loose when you were taking it out shouldn't have loosened any to get it out you can slide it out but just double check them so filled up with coolant give the truck a regen and check for coolant leaks while you're regening it and that should take care of your problem uh, you might have had other codes that came with this like dpf soot loaded soot load level that's all because 
of this getting clogged up. It can't inject fuel, so it can't do a regen properly. You might even have a loss of power. It's all because of this. So get this taken care of. If you have that code come up, get it taken care of right away.